Mind yung you. pong uh, DOH, ang uh, moving forward, uh, inaalam na po natin nga kung ano ang naging batayan sa pagbibigay sa mga unqualified. May, batay, may batayan po tayo yung SRA doon sa RA uh, 11494. Uh, so, yan ay uh, bibigyan mo lang. Halimbawa, SRA, uh, Mr. Chairman. Doon sa may uh, uh, healthcare workers in direct care of COVID patients or in contact with. Ano po? So, dyan po ang nagkakaroon ng gray area. No? So, baka kaya gusto natin na uh, linawin ito and this is now the subject of uh, our uh, request. Uh, we wrote uh, the COA and now we're also writing the DOJ. Kasi may mga iba, ang sabi nila, yung provision na yan is subject to uh, liberal interpretation. Kasi nga naman, yung mga tao with the advent of the variants of concern, halimbawa Delta variant, ano? Very high on transmissibility rate niya, 5 to 8. So for one every per for every person that is infected, he can infect eight others at the most. Okay. So yung concept, bago dumating yung mga Delta variants, no? itong uh, variants of concern, an example is the Delta. Wala pa yan. Yung dati kasi sinasabi lang natin, ay hindi, yun lang mga direct uh, COVID care or uh, in contact with Pero nagkaroon ng supervening event. Yung supervening event nagkaroon ng Delta variant. Actually, hindi lang Delta, Alpha and Beta. Lumalabas, airborne. So the risk is now uh, distributed across all the healthcare workers operating within the same facility. Hindi na lang siya uh, sa isang kwarto ba ito, uh, sa isang ward ba ito, yung tao ba na nakasalubuha doon. Y yun ang nagiging problema natin dito. That's why we are asking for uh, clarification. Kasi yung mga iba ko, kaya sila nakapagbigay dahil akala nila in contact with eh, or in contact with. So siguro yung janitor, halimbawa, pumasok, uh, may kinuhang uh, uh, plato. Oh, does that constitute in contact with? Well, with the Delta variant concept, Yes, kasi pwede ka nang mahawaan because it's airborne. So, yan po ang uh, tinitignan natin ngayon, inaayos natin, and uh, hindi naman po ito katakataka because the virus uh, is still evolving. And therefore, having said that, Mr. Chairman, ay uh, wala, hindi natin masabi talaga. So, that's why we just have to be agile. We just have to keep reviewing these laws. And if necessary, we need to amend so that the... Health, the uh, DOH, our uh, officials, no, will be protected also when they make these disbursements. Kasi nga ngayon, tama naman si Congressman uh, Fortune, no? Papano yan, di ba? Na, nakapagbigay na, eh, hindi naman qualified. And this is now the contentious issue that we're trying to address. However, yun naman pong tinatanong ni Congressman Fortune kanina kung lalaki yung number. Sigurado lalaki yung number kasi bibigyan mo pa rin yung mga hindi nabigyan na qualified. Pero yung mga unqualified na bigyan mo na, may mga iba pong mga regional directors na bago sila magpa-receive, no? may kolatilya doon sa receipt. Na if this is a, a subject of a notice of disallowance, balik mo. Parang may mga iba pong mga gano'n. Pero that, that is, uh, you know, the, some, that, that, that uh, has been uh, what uh, was relayed to me. But I have to validate this, uh, Your Honor.